Hello everyone, my name is Natalie Sotelo. I'm one of the Gear Up tutors at Rio Bravo. Today we'll be going over what you learned in eighth grade math and how it will be important for high school algebra one. Let's do a quick refresher. The topic we will be discussing is irrational numbers. You're probably thinking, wait, when do we learn about irrational numbers? But it is a very straightforward concept and I'm here to provide a refresher. Let's start by defining rational numbers. A rational number refers to a number that can be represented by the ratio of two integers. An integer is a whole number, positive or negative. For example, rational numbers can be whole numbers like 4, 7, 8, because they can be represented as a ratio of two integers, 4 over 1, 7 over 1, 8 over 1. Rational numbers can also be negative, for example, negative 6, negative 10, even negative 256. Following the same logic as positive numbers, negative 6 over 1, negative 10 over 1, negative 256 over 1. Rational numbers can also be decimals as long as that number can be represented by the ratio of two integers. Um, like 2.25 can be represented as 225 over 100, 2 and 1 fourths, 9 over 4. Lastly, rational numbers can also be repeating decimals. An example of this would be 1 over 3, because in, an in, a, in a decimal, it is 0 0.3333. It is, a ra it is rational because the decimal can be represented by a ratio of two whole integers. Long story short, rational numbers are positive or negative whole numbers, and meaning the decimal stops. Non-repeating decimals and repeating decimals. Let's do a quick check-in. Is 3.5 a rational number? Yes. This can be represented by a ratio of two integers, 300 and 345 over 100. Good job. What about negative 8? Yes. It is a whole number that can be represented by negative 8 over 1. Good job. If ever in doubt, ask yourself, can this number be a ratio? If yes, you have a rational number. Let's move on. You may be wondering what numbers are left. What are considered irrational numbers? Irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be expressed as a ratio or a fraction of two integers. In other words, irrational numbers are not whole numbers. It can be an infinite non-repeating decimal such as pi, 3.1415 and so on. Would you believe that number just goes on forever? Any number with next to pi will be irrational because the product of an irrational of a rational number, an irrational number is an irrational number. When you take the square root of a number that is not a perfect square, you also get irrational numbers. Examples of irrational number is an irrational number. When you take the square root of a number that is not, not a perfect square, you will also be get irrational numbers. An example is negative 4 over pi, the square root of 3, or any other number that never ends and continues after the decimal. So we have 3 over pi, square root of 3, negative 4 over pi. Let's do... So, is the square root of 5 a, an irrational number? Yes, it is. It is not a perfect square. The square root of 5 is... 2.23606 and so on, an infinite repeating decimal. Good job. What about negative 10 over pi? Yes, any rational number multiplied by an irrational number such as pi is an irrational number. Good job. If ever in doubt, ask yourself, is this number rational? If not, it is a rational number. Further, you may be wondering, when will I see this again? You learned this concept in 8th grade and you will see it again as you continue to your higher level math courses in high school and in your college courses. More than likely, you will see this in a future math equation or problem. The concept of irrational and rational problems is also relevant in algebra when defining the value of x. The concept of rational numbers and irrational numbers are found in word problems because they depict real life situations, whether it is at the lab if you want to be a scientist or at the bank if you want to be a financial advisor.
Once again, rational numbers are whole numbers or integers, while irrational numbers are not integers or whole numbers. Remember to think of pi as an example of an irrational number because it just keeps on going after the decimal. I hope this was a helpful recap. Important to keep refreshing your skills during this time. Stimulate your mind by going over concepts covered in 8th grade and practicing problems so you can succeed in high school. If you have any further questions, go ahead and visit tutor.com. This video, please watch the rest of the videos. Bye, see you next time.